Hoping tonight what was supposed to be a bonding experience turns into a father's worst nightmare. This is six year old Cyrus Gray. His father was letting him help build a fire when something went wrong. Now the child is suffering from severe burns. Brittany Martin spoke to the father about what happened and how the community is helping Cyrus recover. Cyrus Gray was at his home here on Porch Rock Road when it happened Tuesday night. His father tells me he never in a million years imagined this would happen to his son. He's an absolute sweetheart. He's a trooper. Brandon Gray says his son Cyrus was building a fire with him Tuesday night. He says they put cardboard boxes on top and started to walk away toward the house. The next thing I knew, I heard an explosion and I turned around and I looked and I couldn't see, I didn't see Cyrus anywhere and, and our whole yard was on fire. All I could see was Cyrus on fire. Brandon says he ran to his son and tried to help. You know, I tried to roll him on the ground. I tried everything to get him out and I couldn't get him out. And uh, I finally just started ripping his clothes off. And, and from there, you know, we got his clothes off of him and he took off running and it, it was just it was Burns cover 40% of Cyrus's body. Since Tuesday, he's had several surgeries. He asked his dad to post this video to Facebook thanking his family and friends. Thanks, everybody. We're praying for him. I love you guys. He's still in a lot of pain, but he's doing great. Brandon says as his son recovers, he's thankful it wasn't any worse. I have no way to tell everybody how much we appreciate it. You, they can't begin to imagine just the outpouring of love that everybody has shown and the support. I wish I had a way to thank each and every person. Brandon says Cyrus has a long road to recovery ahead, but could be home as early as next week. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Brittany Martin. Brandon Gray says his son will have skin grafts put on his arm and hand tomorrow. A motorcyclist who was hit by a car has died. Chattanooga police say